Today, I'm gonna to be making a brined and smoked turkey breast. Before you smoke the turkey, you're gonna to need to brine it. They are so active, turkeys are, they forage all day, they don't have a lot of fat, and they need to get tender, and how to do that is to brine it. The first thing you're gonna do is to pour some water and vinegar, about a cup of water to a cup of vinegar, um, and I have apple cider vinegar into a pot, and then we're gonna put a couple of other ingredients in with it. Brining was mainly used as a way to preserve food but now that we have refrigeration and ways to preserve food we just use it for flavor a basic brine is one gallon of water to one cup of kosher salt and really you can just use that but this is a time to put in a lot of other elements like a bay leaf which I'm about to add to this um, mixture some salt brown sugar some garlic and you got it made so I'm just gonna put it right in here Stir it up. Kosher salt is not gonna dissolve in cold water. As soon as this dissolves, you're gonna add the rest of the water to it. You're gonna let it cool, and then you're gonna add your turkey breast and refrigerate it for about 24 hours. I've been brining my turkey for 24 hours, and it looks like it is ready. It's got a little bit of color to it, and normally it wouldn't, but I like to use this apple cider vinegar, and sometimes the vinegar will look like it's cooked it, but it really hasn't. I have a dry rub here, and I'm leaving one of the ingredients out, and that is salt, because I have enough salt in my brine and my meat is plenty salty. So I'm gonna add some cayenne, just a little bit. I'm adding quite a bit of pepper, some garlic powder, some cumin, and some paprika. All right, you can look at these turkeys, and you can see that they don't look like chicken. They don't have any of that yellow fat running through them. All right, but I'm gonna add some fat. I'm gonna add some bacon to this. I'm about to wrap some bacon around this, and we're gonna have a little bit of smoked bacon with our smoked turkey. Now I'm heading out to put this in the smoker. Try it on the rack. turkey's done. It smells great. It's going to taste great. I bring my turkey to an internal temperature of about 150 degrees. I let it rest for about 10-15 minutes and it'll continue to cook during that time. And then you can slice it up and eat it and boy are you going to be excited. It's a wonderful turkey.